Hey guys, so I'm back with another YouTube video and this time it's going to be about the very famous Banjara market. First of all, you can search Banjara market on Google Maps. So if you're traveling by metro, all you need to do is get down at sector 54, rapid metro station and from there you can take an auto for 50 bucks. I reached here late noon, so first I went to have lunch at my favorite South Indian restaurant called Navedyam. If you are a sucker for South Indian cuisine just like me, trust me, this is the best place to satisfy your taste buds. It's just 5 minutes away from Banjara market. So by the time I reached, it was around 4 pm and I could see a lot of people there already as it was also a weekend. The market is L-shaped and belongs to Banjara tribe as the name suggests. You can find home decor items made of brass, wood, metal, glass, ceramic and plastic. You can find all things vintage and antique here. The market opens at 7 am till 10.30 pm but it's best to go in sunlight as they hardly have any source of light. You can see colourful pots and crockery displayed on the ground. If you are lucky enough, you can find brands like Fab India here. You can also spot these unique pots in the shape of elephants and ducks, perfect for the plant lovers. They had a huge variety of mirrors, wall motifs, lanterns and more. I also spotted this really cute table chair set which is perfect for a garden or a veranda. The total cost for this set was about 15,000 to which we could negotiate to its half or even less. This market is set up on a very makeshift base as this is an unauthorized land and the whole family manages the shop from elders to kids turn by turn as their shops are their houses as well. I really like this table here. It was very lightweight and you could use it in multiple ways. The price that the bhaiya quoted was around 5000 but then again you can always negotiate. You can find amazing wooden furniture in good quality, mostly shisham or mango wood. Preferably take someone who has good knowledge of these things for guidance. I absolutely loved these plant watering cans that every person who visits Panjara market has. The best way to negotiate here is to quote one third of the price that the shopkeeper tells you. If he is not willing to give you for that, just walk away because there will be same things in multiple shops. So trust me, you won't miss out on anything. But everything said, it's okay to pay a little extra to them as they belong from an underprivileged community. Also, always check the quality of the stuff before buying. Check the quality of the wood, the metal, because it's sometime rusted. You can see some beautiful lampshades and wall art and that too at throwaway prices. Also, you can find countless vintage frames but you have to dig deep in order to find nice ones and get them painted in your choice of colour by paying like 50 rupees extra in total. There are no shop numbers here but they go by their names like Mahinder Ki Dukan which is coming next. You can feel the Rajasthani tribal vibe by the stuff that they sell, their clothing and their language. Guys, please remember if you come here, you have to get a mask with you, like a face mask because there's a lot of dust and right now they are burning uh, waste everywhere uh, because it's cold. So let me just show you. In the end, I went to this Mahinder ki shop which had all the export surplus from brands like Marks & Spencer Home, H&M Home, John Lewis Home Stuff and that too at unbeatable prices. It's safe to say that you will find very classy and minimalistic stuff in this market. So that was it guys. I hope you loved this Banjara market tour and I'm soon coming up to the hall. The next video is going to be about it and I know you're going to love everything that I bought from there. So please stay tuned, push the bell notification button so that you get a, get a notification whenever I upload a new video and like, share and subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. Bye!